Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Griffin and this is my story. Basically I've been overweight my entire life. I look back at pictures of myself in first grade, second grade, even kindergarten, and I was always clearly the fattest one in like my friend group or the class. Um, I distinctly remember in like fourth grade pick up basketball recess, always getting picked for last because I was quote unquote too slow to play or I was too fat to be able to run around. And this really ate at me. Then by the time I started playing travel sports and actual club sports, it got so much worse. I remember playing baseball and my coach would put me out in left field to go and pick grass because I was too fat to do anything. Or when I would get up at the plate, he'd just give me a sign just to miss or just to take the pitch so I don't swing and don't embarrass myself. Now, to many of you, you're probably thinking, oh, that's just part of the game. But to me, it was more than that. To me, I took it as a personal message of, he doesn't want me to hit because I'm fat. Or, he doesn't want to put me at second base because I'm too slow to move. And this really got at me. And for a kid who's 11 to 12 years old, that is not healthy. Now, I would go to school every day. And th I'm still talking about middle school here. So, from 4th grade to 8th grade. And I'd get bullied every single day of school. I'd get bullied on my weight on my red hair, on my hobbies, playing saxophone. I'll put a picture of me here in eighth grade. Um, but every day at school, it was awful. It was torture. Finally, high school came around, and I thought it was finally going to be something different. You know, freshman year rose up. There's 300 new kids going to school with you. I'm like, all right, that's great. 300 new friends who don't know me. I can make more friends now. They're not going to be bowling me off of my hair color and weight. Little did I know, that's exactly what they did. So basically, another year of being bullied, um, I was just on the breaking point. I just about had enough, right? And then one night I went to my friend's party and there was an incident at the party where I got into a little altercation and that was it. That, uh, that was the last straw. I was done after that. I knew I had to make a change. So now it's December, it's 2015 and I'm sitting on the couch in my TV room. I just sat down with my second bowl of Ben and Jerry's ice cream and I was watching the Conor McGregor vs. Jose Otto fight. And now I knew Conor McGregor was redhead, he's Irish, I'm Irish, so I knew we had similarities then, but I was watching his weigh-ins, and he walks onto stage, and he's 5'9", 145 pounds. Now, if you guys don't know, at the time, I was also 5'9", but I was also 215 pounds. This lit a fire in me like no other. I immediately threw the ice cream on the table. I probably spilled some, my parents probably got mad at me, but... I jumped up and went to the mirror, and honestly, I took my shirt off and started trying to flex like him. It was embarrassing. All right, all it was is just rolls and rolls, and at that point, I knew I had to change. I immediately went onto my iPhone and made Conor McGregor my background. So every time I go on my phone to play a video game or something, I just saw him, a 5'9", 145-pound redhead from Ireland, with the body that I want. So that was my motivation because I saw myself within him. I have an older brother named Liam and I owe my entire transformation basically to him. I always lived in a shadow athletically. You know, he is 6'2". Um, at the time he was 215, star football player, star baseball and basketball player. He has tall, brown hair, tan. He was also my motivation and I owe everything I know about working out to him. Don't get me wrong, Liam knew exactly what was going on, what I was facing in high school, and I cannot thank him enough for having my back. If I would have a problem with a kid, and I'm using my words, it's not going away, he always has my back and I always have his. So I just want to put it out there now, I just want to thank him for everything he's done for me. So basically, when I'm sitting there flexing in the mirror, Liam comes walking downstairs, and he sees me. And at first he starts to laugh because he had no idea what I was doing. And I would laugh too if you saw what I was doing. But he asked what I was doing. And I said, I want to be like Conor McGregor. He said, you got to start working out. And my response was, I don't know how to. That day, no joke, two hours later, Liam brought me to the gym with him. And that was my first time ever being in a gym. We walk in, he knows everyone there. He's wearing all the latest fitness gear, everything. Everyone's saying hi to him. I walk in with my last night pajamas on, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. I brought headphones that didn't work, and I was just lost. I distinctly remember thinking to myself, and watching him perform these exercises, like, gosh, look at him, how does he know how to do this? I want to know how to do this. And he taught me everything he knew. He was walking me through on how to do every exercise properly, how form matters, overweight, 
and how to have fun with it, how to make working out fun. Sadly, later that year, Liam dislocated his knee for the second time and had to get surgery. So he was out, he was going to be out uh, from working out for a long time. So then I was back on my own again. But instead of quitting, and instead of just giving up and throwing in the towel, I went on YouTube, I started reading books, and I learned how to work out for myself. One of the people on YouTube, or multiple people on YouTube that I fell in love with, are Nick and Preston Bear, Callum Von Moger, Zach Perna, and Rob Lipset. They taught me how to work out, how to eat, how to count my macros, and just how to enjoy lifting and living a healthy lifestyle. So, after reading countless books, watching countless videos on how to work out, how to properly eat, I decided to start my transformation. So my transformation started in January of 2016. I weighed, I was standing at 5 foot 9 inches and I weighed 215 pounds. By June of 2016, I was also 5 foot 9, which I currently am, I can't help that. But I was 142 pounds. No, I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing myself. In the beginning, I really had no idea what I was doing. But I would just put my earbuds in and I didn't care what anyone thought about me in the gym. I didn't care if they were laughing at me because I didn't know how to do the exercise. I wanted it for myself, so I just kept doing it. On the weekends, right, or a Friday night, my friends would go to a party. I'd stay home and work out. Or if I were to go to a party, Saturday morning, I'd be up at 8 o'clock and go run 3 miles at my local park. No one else was doing that. Everyone else was sleeping. I knew I had to be different. I had to do stuff that people didn't want to do. So that's my brother recovered from his knee injury. He was still on the football team. And now the football team, especially if you're a big kid like my brother, they make you eat a ton. So they basically just fed him carbs, like pasta, everything, all day long. And they bulked him up to 215 pounds. Now he was still a big muscular kid, but he wasn't like he used to be. So he came to me and said, Kevin, can you please help me? And I just felt inspired because he's the one that helped me change my life. So now if I get to help him, that would just make my world. So I set up his meal plan, I set up his macros, everything, his workouts, he knew how to do those. And in three months, he went from 215 pounds at 6 foot 2 to a, a lean 180 pounds at 6 foot 2. And he's absolutely shredded now. And it wasn't just my brother that I helped out. My entire family, my mom, my dad and sister, I also set up meal plans for them. You know, I went out and bought a food scale to show them that a serving size of peanut butter is really this big and not like this big how much we normally put on food. But everyone in my family was losing weight. In total, my entire family lost over 150 pounds of weight within one year. Ever since then, fitness has been my life. I've been working out six days a week. I've been reading constantly on nutrition, the latest nutrition habits, what's actually good and bad for you, supplement pros and cons, good types of exercise. And this year, I finally decided to make the, the jump and start my own fitness account. Now, at first, I had five followers. One was my personal account, and the other four my family members. And I was embarrassed at first. I was thinking, what are the kids at school going to think of me? Are they going to make fun of me like they used to? And I really didn't want to promote it that much. Then I woke up one day and I had 50 followers. I gained 45 followers overnight. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. All right, maybe it's going to turn into something. Fast forward to present day, I made my account three months ago. I have just under 4,000 followers. I have 3,900 followers right now, currently. I am averaging 100 followers a day. That is crazy, and I owe all my thanks to you guys. But basically, going back on my other point, one thing I recommend to everyone is do what you like and who cares what everyone else thinks. If you're going to live your life based off of other people's judgments, you would never leave your house. Who are, the, who are they to say that you can't do something? Or who are they to hold you back from doing what you love to do? Exactly. The only opinion that it matters is what makes you happy. So do what makes you happy in life. Who cares what they think? So currently my fitness channel is growing extremely well. It's at a great growth rate. And my ultimate goal is just to be a fitness influencer and also a bodybuilder. I'm going to compete in my first show in about three to four years and just take it from there. But at the bottom line, I just want to thank everyone, especially my brother, who helped me in this transformation. 
like you guys completely changed my life. But the point of the story is to make that change, okay? Make that change when you want to lose weight. If you're getting, if you're sick of getting bullied, make that change. If you want to make a fitness account, if you want to make a what an art account, whatever, but you're afraid of being judged, make the change. Who cares what people think, okay? You just got to do what's good for you, do what's right for you, and stick to it. At the end of the day, it's all about the grind. You know, Nick Bear, who is an Army Ranger, um, he keeps saying this saying, embrace the suck. And that is like my life motto. When you're in the hard times, you know, when you're cutting, when you're on like 1,400 calories, and you want to eat more, right? You want to have that pudding. You want to have that whatever, that ice cream. Don't. What I do, I think to myself about, would that bowl of ice cream be worth it, or would I rather have a six-pack? I would rather have the six-pack, obviously. You just got to force yourself, and you got to push yourself through the pain. Because at the end of the pain, it's just rainbows, right? It's your goal. It's just like 100% success. So in order to get to like the sunshine, you got to go through the storm. But once you get through the storm, you'll never see it again. I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is my story. Um, I hope it's motivational to you guys. If you guys have any questions on your diet, how to start losing weight, how to build muscle, workouts, anything, or even in just life in general, leave a comment, shoot me a DM, whatever. I'm doing free meal plans and workout plans for anyone who wants one. But uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and share this with someone to help make their Monday great. Thank you again for watching, and I'm out.